light, uh, the sun is going in and out. I don't know, it's like super, this lighting is unstable as hell. So in today's video, I am going to share with you guys all of the manicures that I wore in the fall season. And I want to get this video out because I've already started, we're in the month of December, so I've already started wearing um, um, holiday manis. The entire month is going to be, my nails are going to be blinged out as much as I can. Right now, I am in the mood for painting my nails often because I didn't get to do a lot of manicures in the fall. If you guys read my community tab, then um, you know that we've had just a lot of personal stuff going on. And then I shared a little bit on my Instagram. I don't wanna make this video about that. I just wanna say thank you to every single one of you, every single one of your comments in that post um, on my Instagram as well. Thank you for each and every one of you that has independent, independently reached out uh, from those posts and have checked in on me. I am forever grateful and I just wanted to extend my gratitude to each and every one of you because I, you know, when I needed a little bit of a pick me up or encouragement, you guys did that and I, I'm just really, really grateful. So I'm going to get into all of the fall manicures that I wore. I may actually leave some of the manicures for like a December video or something like that just because I don't want this video to be hella hella long. I am going to start off with one of the first manicures that I wore combining these two polishes. I mentioned both of these in my fall picks and I was wearing it actually in that video and I freaking loved it. So I wore Bronze Ambition from Orly. This although labeled bronze it is a straight up copper metallic and it is beautiful. This looks like a copper pipe. <laughs> Straight up, it is so beautiful. This has a ton, a ton of red. And in that video, I mentioned that oftentimes I'm very, very picky with bronze or copper polishes. I don't enjoy them as much because they come a little bit too close to my skin. And so I don't see a, a, a color contrast that I enjoy so much to where with this I do because it has a ton, a ton of red in it. And it's amazing. It takes one coat to get opaque, uh, but I did at two. And then I did a little gradient from the cuticle down using Nina Ultra Pro. This is a gold flake top coat. And I had used up about a third of this bottle, <coughs> but I filled it up with some suspension base because I want to make use out of every little flaky top, uh, flaky that's in here. Plus, adding more of the suspension base will um, allow me to. Uh, gradually build up this polish because although labeled as a top coat it loads up a lot on the nails and that was a beautiful manicure I wore it for quite a while and it wore very very well and then the next combo is using a L'Oreal textured polish this is sexy and sequence back when L'Oreal still made polishes this is a textured and it is predominantly made out of purple and gold micro glitter and scattered larger silver specks in here and it's beautiful. I have enjoyed this textured but this time around I wanted to bring out a little bit more of the bling on the nail so I did add a top coat and I put that on my ring finger and the rest of my nails I added a Viking in a Winter Wonderland. I've mentioned many times this is my favorite old school purple. <laughs> I just I have always gravitated towards this one. And every time I finish a bottle, I just go out and buy another one. I finished a couple of bottles of this and this bottle is now down to here because I enjoy it. I just love that this is a, a deeper purple and almost blackened, but it always looks purple on the nails. That's number one. Number two, it has an awesome formula. It gets a pick at one to two coats for me. It's just really, really good. And then a manicure, not even a manicure that I did. I wanted to do a nail art. I wanted to do more nail art in the fall, but you know, shit happens. So I combined uh, Black to Black from Sally Hansen and Harvest Moon from China Glaze. And this is a, a bronze. So compared to, let me bring out Bronze Ambition. You can see how much more red Bronze Ambition has from Orally. And um, super awesome for Har Harvest Moon. It takes a couple of coats to get opaque on the nails. And I really enjoy this polish. It just looks really beautiful. That manicure was actually inspired by a pumpkin raffia, wired raffia that my sister had in her house. And she had it by the fireplace. And it had little fairy lights. So to create um, some of the pumpkins or whatever, the outline, I used some acrylic paint. And then for the little fairy lights, I just used white and yellow acrylic paint. And that was really, really beautiful. I actually wanted to wear that a little bit longer than I did, but then I was really excited and wanted to wear a lot, a lot of nail art. 
during that season um for the next one i did wear this one for quite a bit this is nine zero lacquers no bones about it this is an off-white crowley and it has matte black shards of glitter but the glitters also have almost like a little bit of a blue like a navy blue undertone and it's perfect at three coats it's really really great uh, but i think i only added two coats because i did a little outline with just black acrylic paint to do my little skull i did the eyes the nose and the teeth and then for the eyes i added just red rhinestones and those elevated that manicure it was such an awesome manicure um the red rhinestones depending on what lighting it was hitting it they would just be red glares or red orange or orangey yellow glares it was just they were always catching some kind of light and just made the manicure look really really cool so that was one of my favorite manicures actually and then i also did a frankenstein and bride mani as well using some acrylic paints and then one of the polishes that i used was venom from koki cosmetics a couple of coats for this one this is like a green apple type of color it's really beautiful really good formula and then um i also use black to black i finished this bottle i don't know if i mentioned that but i finished this bottle this past fall season because i used it a lot for um nail art designs basic black is just always really really good and i used probably a silver one from essie i just can't remember the name and i didn't bring it out and then just used acrylic paints to draw on my little frankenstein and my little bride and then two polishes from china glaze that i wore that i have not worn in a while wore these separately i have bat my eyes which is a chunky glitter this one is made up of silver a chunky glitter and then bronze bar glitter and the bronze bar glitter also shift a little bit depending on the lighting um, they can reflect a little bit green it is densely packed and this glitter here i had used probably down to here and then the rest had dried up so what i did is uh added some suspen suspension base and thinner to restore this polish and i actually had to replace the cap from another china glaze polish because my <laughs> brush was so dry and wonky uh, but it got a pick at two coats and it performed beautifully and this one is another old favorite from a halloween collection this is cast a spell and this one is more of like a murky almost smoky green and the base is slightly blackened i want to say that it is because i mean i've had this for so long i can't remember anymore but the green um shimmer has this golden tone to it and it has this beautiful glow effect especially in direct sunlight so i love it and this uh takes just one coat one coat to get opaque but i did add two a purple one that i'm actually going to declutter not because it's not good not because it's not beautiful but because i just find that it's not the most flattering this is aurora from peyton um no aurora from zoya not aurora from peyton aurora from zoya it is there's purple scattered holographic and again beautiful formula i see the rainbows on the nails it's just beautiful but i i've worn this one down to here and i've worn it enough to just realize that i enjoy peyton and finley so much more and so i'd rather give this one away to someone that's actually going to enjoy it and love the color i just find that this out of the three polishes is the least flattering it is not the most complimentary to my skin tone so although beautiful i am gonna declutter and then my halloween mani was actually using um, elm street from colores de carol wore this last year bought it and wore it last year actually and paired it up with my freddy krueger sweater that i wear every halloween for i don't know the past five years maybe i can't remember um and this is made up of a burnt orange jelly base and multi-shifting large flakes it is really really beautiful my experience with this polish this year though was very different from last year i felt like a lot of the flakes were up against the bottle and no matter how much i shook it i couldn't get as many on my nails as i did the previous year so although it looked beautiful it just wasn't i don't know and you're gonna see on some parts of my nails there's little gaps where i couldn't get a lot of the flakies um i don't know what happened uh, if you have this polish and experience the same thing this year let me know but um it won't stop me from wearing it because it's still really beautiful i may actually end up layer using this as as a layering component for other red bases or what have you and i will continue wearing it 
uh, for the month of October. And then a manicure using black to black once again from Sally Hansen. Um, I did a Halloween movie themed manicure because the new movie was coming out, which I have not had a chance to watch, sadly. And I combined four polishes, all four of these. So black to black from Sally Hansen. It's a basic black cream. I use my Vampire is Buff from OPI. It's an old favorite, continues to be a favorite. I need to start looking online to see if I can replace this bottle because I'm now down to here. The dry time this time around was a little bit longer. Um, but I love it. I can still manipulate this on my nails and I will continue until the last drop. It's because it's just really beautiful. It's an off-white cream, slightly yellow toned and it's just an amazing color. And then I used Rodeo Dry Royalty from NCLA. It is a deeper tone blood red. And it's amazing. It's looking a little brighter in my viewfinder. Hopefully by the time I get to editing, um, you, I'll be able to, um, you can see the color a little bit better. I don't know. Um, and then for my splatter design, I used Rodeo Drive and I also used uh, OPI's Big Apple Red because I wanted to do a contrast of two toned reds one that's brighter one that's deeper so one that looks like fresh blood and one that may look like uh, coagulated blood or what have you and then I used the Mundo de Uñas stamping plate and um I don't remember the name of the stamping plate, but I will leave it linked down below because Mundo de Uña seems to keep all of their plates in stock forever it seems <laughs> and then a manicure that I wasn't really sure if I loved it so much. Not because the Cabo didn't look great, but because I've worn this polish now a few times and it just makes my hands look dirty once again. But I love this color. I continue wearing it because I love this type of chestnutty type of brown. Uh, it just looks really, really decadent, but it, it just makes my hands look dirty. So this is Canyon Clay from Orly. It's a cream. It takes two coats to get opaque. Super easy formula. Um, if this looks great on you, I'm happy for you because it's, it is a beautiful color. I did pair it up with Here for the Boost, which is a micro glitter. And this does dry textured from different dimensions. And this is made up of silver holographic and uh, orange holographic uh, micro glitter. And it's a pick at two coats. I did have to restore this one because different dimension glitters dry up so quickly. It is insane, which is why I don't buy these dense glitters from them anymore. It's just kind of a waste. I have to keep restoring it. I've restored it restored it a couple of times now and it just keeps drying out so this one in the bottle looks more orange on the nails you see more of the silver holographic more than the orange holographic but you do see the orange holographic and it's the same experience i've had every time i've worn it i always wish that i would see more of the orange on the nails and i do the silver but it looks really beautiful and then I also did a, um, a manicure inspired by the witch from Snow White. Um, and I did the cauldron, um, the rotten apple, and then I drew on with acrylic paints the witch. And for the red on my nails, I used a polish from Koki that I didn't bring out. But it's like a similar red to Big Apple Red, let's say. Um, only that I think that one's a little bit more... I can't remember. I think it's more, it's warm leaning. And then for the apple, I'm pretty sure I used Venom from uh, Koki. And then I used my black base from black, uh, from Sally Hansen, which is black to black and uh, varying colors to create my witch. My witch up close looked like a hot mess, but from afar, it looked actually pretty cool. I hand drew though, so I was really like, wanting to do more nail art, but I just didn't have a chance to. This polish from Morgan Taylor, this is called Afternoon Escape. It is a burnt orange, and I did a <clears throat> pumpkin orange collection video. And I was wearing this in that video and I mentioned it in that video and it is really, really beautiful, really great formula, opaque at two coats. I am though going to declutter this because I just know myself, I know, I know, I know that I am going to reach more for my Italian is a little rusty from OPI. I know I'm going to reach more for It's a Piazza Cake from OPI and Playing Koi from Essie more than I am this one. So it's another one that's actually going to go out. I'm decluttering three polishes altogether in this video these three um not because they're not beautiful on their own not because they don't have a great formula but because i just know i'm not going to reach for them that much and that's going to be my mentality this coming year is just get rid of stuff that you're just not going to use and then um the next manicure i missed i forgot to bring out the glitter that i paired up with this mani 
uh, sadly but um, it is using something peacock portrait peacock or something peacock from pop beauty this is a peacock type of color blue green shimmer and it has this beautiful glow effect in the bottle well, that doesn't really translate as much on the nail, so another one that I'm going to get rid of. Um, but awesome formula. These Pop Beauty polishes have such an amazing formula. This gets opaque at one coat. And it just has this gorgeous glow effect, if you can see. And it just falls a little bit flat on the nails. So... Um, and really great, but I'm, I am going to get rid of it. Uh, because I wanted a little bit more of a glow effect, I added watermelon rind over top of it. And it made it a little bit more glowy. And then on my ring finger, I added, I think, something carrots from Salon Perfect. It's a gold textured with holographic. Um, I just didn't bring it out. It's, it was either that one or a Morgan Taylor <clears throat> micro glitter. Oh, my freaking foot fell asleep. I just forgot to bring it out and I think that's where I'm gonna leave it here because I have more polishes but I think I'm gonna make a separate video just so that they're not super lengthy videos I, I thank you though uh, for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one bye